it forces you to reach a higher level through being quiet to being silent. I'm going to read something to you from Lightning Notes of Zarathustra, my first and only book. And then I'm going to answer some questions. Page 41. This is one of my favorites. For the spiritual for the spiritually advanced. This is for spiritually advanced silence. Silence is a way to knock on the door of Hall of Truth. Everything that is beautiful and true is born of silence. It is the foundation that prepares you for awakening. By talking too much, you may disturb and awaken what needs to stay asleep. By being silent, you will activate what needs to awaken. Stay still, stay silent, and be invisible. Stay in the background and mind your own business so you can slowly prepare yourself for illumination. This writing by itself has already given you the secret to awakening, the secret to freedom. If you just understand this, this by itself, you're done. You're finished. If you just understand this, what is he saying? What is this saying con conveying? Silence is a way to knock on the door of Hall of Truth. It means that no master ever has arrived into awakening by analytical thinking. It wasn't through the mind thinking. They became silent. Everything that's beautiful and true is born of silence. Everything comes from silence. You come from silence. Everything I say right now is coming from silence. Silence is the very background of everything. Because I can't talk all the time. If I talk all the time, you don't hear what I say. There has to stop. It has to stop. So silence is behind it. You don't think all the time. The reason you hear your thoughts is because the real you is silent. That's why you hear your thoughts. Otherwise, you could never hear your thoughts. Your thoughts are on the background of silence. Everything that is beautiful and true is born of silence. It is the foundation that prepares you for awakening. Silence is the foundation. By talking too much, you may disturb and awaken what needs to stay asleep. So by talking too much means by being active in your mind. Keep thinking, keep worrying, keep getting yourself engaged with nonsense of the world that is none of your business and it doesn't do anything for you. You are awaken what needs to be asleep. You are awakening the beast inside yourself of worry, fear and anxiety that does not need to be awakened. By being silent, you will activate what needs to, awa to awaken. 
when you practice being silent, you're activating the grit within yourself. Means you're centered and the energy begins to build within you. And the proof is in the pudding. Try it or talk to any of my students who've been with me for a while. And see, ask them. You can see them here. Ask them how their lives changed. Ask them how their lives were before they practiced silence and what is their lives now after they practice silence. They're all happy. They're all in peace. They all have gone through transformation in their lives. I don't need to tell you that. You can ask them. Stay still. Stay silent. Be invisible. The more you're still, means you're centered and you're not reacting. You refuse to react and you practice being still and you're quiet, the more invisible. Invisible means that you're not involved with the world. You're not engaged with it. Stay in the background and mind your own business so you can slowly prepare yourself for illumination. So if you want to awaken and reach higher levels of consciousness and enter into a fifth dimensional realm of wisdom and awareness, then you have to mind your own business. means you come from the front line and you go in the background. You're no longer an activist, being an activist trying to save the planet, trying to save the forest or the animals. You're in the background, minding your own business, working on our own, your own awakening. And that's what it says here. I think I've given you plenty to contemplate on for today. Hi, Anita. Yes, good morning. <laughs> uh, so first, uh, uh, what I uh, like to know is uh, you told uh, to be silent and to be not in the front and to be in the back. How can I do my job? You know, because I'm all the time, uh, full time in my job and I have to talk a lot and I have a lot of difficulties in the job. That means I have to solve and I have to be very active in my job. How can I right. do that? You know, this is a contradiction for me.